Oh, I'm so jealous of your hair. You I should wish be. that I had this hair. I mean, seriously. Mr. Kessinger, you are late. You're supposed no. to be out there. Oh my god! Christmas issue of Playboy was just released and it is flying off the shelves. But if you don't have means of transportation or just didn't know it was out, you could just show up at the Roosevelt Hotel with some crushed up Adderall and a couple of Vicodin. I'm sure she'd show you her boobs. <laughs> Jerry Sandusky just waived his right to a preliminary trial this week. His lawyers are pretty pissed. They're trying to protect his innocence, but Sandusky admittedly just waived because he thought it was a naked 10 year old boy. Herman Cain recently stepped down from his presidential bid, ending his campaign with lyrics from the end of the Pokemon movie. Cain had been keeping this Pokemon card up his sleep. Hang on, guys. It's my mom. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. How you doing? Oh, no. We're just filming a TV show. Oh, you're going to be on television, huh? No, no it's, it's not going to be on TV. Oh. No, it's, um, it's going to be on the Internet. Oh. That thing that, uh, yeah, Dad watches videos on. The YouTube. Yeah. What, um, what do you need? I just had a couple of questions. Uh, I don't know, Mom. This is, uh, we're not live, but this is pretty important to get this done. Well, what's your papa want for Christmas? I don't know what he wants for Christmas. Call him and ask him. I think he's been wanting some of them hot socks. You know, the one you put in the microwave. Yeah. Got all those fancy buttons. It confuses it. I don't know what you do about that, though. I've got you a video of a cute little bell ringing. Well, all he's right, Mom. He's a bit of a slow pit, but all he's right. a good boy. You should send me a video. Okay, yeah, we'll check the video out. Are you going to trim um, your beard for Christmas? I'm, I'm not trimming the beard, Mom. I love you, honey. Thank all right, you. love you, too. Mom. Bye. All right, we can get back to this now, guys. Try it again. Herman Cain recently stepped down from his presidential bid, ending his campaign with lyrics from the Pokemon theme. Now, Herman Cain had been keeping this Pokemon card up his sleeve for quite some... Oh, hang on, guys. Dave just texted me. Um, apparently my reading is not as good as it should be, so my mom just sent me this video. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll watch it together. Let's try it. Our first guests are coming up on their 10 year anniversary at Tidballs, the owners of said establishment, Brian Jarvis and John Tidball. Hey, gentlemen, gentlemen, what's up, Bob? What do you know? Bye. Good, good, doing good. Been a while. Oh, oh. about two days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what you guys been up to? Anything new since I've seen you? Oh, ham, eat a lot of ham. Yeah. You like ham? I like ham, I like ham. Yeah, we'll have to get lunch sometime, I think. Just working, man, doing the bar life thing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you coming up on the 10 year? 
Ten. Ten. Decade. I like to call it decade. The decade. So the decade. It. With the um, with the music scene in town, you guys have become basically the premier music establishment, I guess, around Bowling Green. It's all him right here, buddy. Yeah, we started out wanting to do music. You know, that's another thing I kind of remember it from the 10 years ago is saying that you know, a we decade wanted, ago a decade <laughs> <laughs> one long decade ago we were sitting around and you know when we were just talking about what we wanted <laughs> some people aren't going to like the music one night and next night you may love it right 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 what are some of uh, y'all's favorite bands that have come through I would say probably my personal favorite don't want to offend any of the bands out there. It's probably a band called The Wolf that played there. Probably my new favorite band is probably Space Capone. Space, Space Capone is a really good band out of yeah. uh, Nashville. Kind yeah. of a little Jamiroquai funk to it. They got they, they just got signed, I think, too. Did they really? Yeah, they got signed to, uh, I don't remember the label's it's Breaking name. News? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a month old, probably. They put Breaking News is they did put a video out, or he, I guess. Yeah. As I read about the him getting signed, I realized it was just Do you have a shirt off? Thing. I don't know. I got to about where he got in the DJ, uh, the DJ booth and turned it off because TV was on. I bet he had a shirt so, off. Yeah. <laughs> it was either you or Jeff, and I can't remember who it, who it was, spoke of how it's basically like there's a closeness down there between all employees and, and how it's basically... Then it was Jeff, which is way more surprising <laughs> to say that we're all like family, basically, is what uh, was said. Yeah, family's a little too far, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. Would you kiss him? No. No? no. I could let him sit inside it. Would you hug him? No. Would you put Gosh. your arm around him? No. God, so y'all aren't really like family. We should have been. We're, we're getting to the bottom of this. We were really close a decade ago. A decade ago? A decade ago, we were talking. So you're saying going into business with your friends, probably not the best idea. Man, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh... This is taking a turn, by the yeah, way. Too yeah, far. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better, for, for, for a better partner, man. Life partner, you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I tell you what, Jeff catches, uh, he catches a lot of flight for being the guy that throws everybody out and the, the, the grumpy guy and, and, you know, the guy in the corner playing foosball and the guy who, you know, looked at me wrong. But there's a bunch of idiots down there. I mean, Jeff has always got mine and two balls back regardless. I mean, and any idea we've thrown out, if he don't like it, he goes with it. We couldn't do this without Jeff. We're right in the middle of a 10 day for the 10 year anniversary showcase basically of bands that have been there, bands that are here now kind of thing, right? So we're right in the middle. Today's what, the 20th? 20th, yeah. So let's roll with that. We've got how many days till the actual anniversary? So you got oh, 28 minus 20 is eight. Right, right, right. I just wanted to hear it out of y'all's mouth. Monday night, we had ourselves a Christmas party, which was just with T. Martell. Ooh, how did that go? Oh, man, it was crazy. Yeah, it was fun. I like T. Martell is good anywhere you put him, really. <laughs> it was wild. Oh, so Foreboding, uh, yes. Oh. We were walking on the bar. That's the best story from that night. <laughs> man, these guys are over playing football, man. I forget who it was. One of these guys I've never seen before. Other guy's Chris, and the other guy does all the right, right. tricks, man. A dude's in there with one of those, uh, one of those frappuccino things, or whatever. And sets it on the foosball table. I'm like, dude, don't set that on the foosball table. So he starts spinning and shit, you know. Like, don't spin, don't spin. I'm like, this is this is at like 10:28. I'm like, oh god, Jeff's gonna be here and he's gonna kill this dude. <laughs> but sure enough, spins it, frappuccino explodes all over the foosball table. Jeff takes him out by his throat. That was with T. Martell playing? T. Martell playing. Then takes the guy's money who was sitting on the foosball table, puts it in his pocket. Oh, God! Are those farticles? Oh, someone needs a silent but friendly. Oh, man. 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 Has this ever happened to you? One minute you're at a party with your best mates, and the next you've ruined your little cousin's bar mitzvah. I'm Dr. Nigel Hawthorne, and I'm here today to talk to you about flatulence, or as some of us call farting, tooting, or my favorite, cootie. These particles, as I call them farticles, make their way down to the stomach area. As the particles decide to not agree with your digestive system, they make their way towards the anus. That's why I came up with this image. One 
Oh, there we go. That's why I came up with this. The silent but friendly. Make these nightmares stop. The silent but friendly is equipped with an hourglass design that fits snugly into your anus. We here at Show Mama encourage particle fleet flatulation. See the little ball on top? That's where the juice comes from. Remember, if the ball's not green, the air's not clean. <laughs> Friendly. Act now and receive it. No extra cost to silent but sexy. Use its pheromone releasing technology on dates. Christmas parties are just when you're feeling randy. Make sure an order and party hardy mates. Thanks, silent but sexy. I had a 4.0 grade point average. You should listen to me. No pudding. Up next, we've got the creator of a site you may have heard of before. If you haven't heard of it, you should definitely check it out. TheClearlyDope.com. We've got Josh Cowan. Hey, hey buddy, how you doing? Good, good. Good, good. <laughs> A a minute. Set you have yeah. here. Thank you, thank you. We've been uh, we've been working on it all day. <laughs> we plumbed and worked it up today. Explain the, um, I guess, the premise of your website to me. Well, it's an internet site, and um, people on the internet can go to it. Right. Um, and I have uh, pictures and things, um, sentences. Sentences. How many sentences? Um, I'm. I'm averaging about two to three sentences per post. So almost a full paragraph. Almost really. a full paragraph. I don't okay. ever go the full paragraph. Right. It's. Uh, I guess you can overdo it. Is what you're saying. People don't like to read on the internet. It's true. It's true. I mean, what photos, do they like to do on the internet? I mean, honestly, in your experience. Well, I started the Clearly Dope to kind of take away from my internet porn habit. Right. Uh, I like, I enjoy being on the internet. How many hours a day? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I get lost in the internet. And just in the internet the or in internet of, porn? No, just the entire internet. Okay. Right now we have um, 218,000 followers. That's, That's a lot of followers. I don't even know that many people. Mm -mm. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know people. 20 people, I, I don't 20 think. 20, maybe. Yeah. You know, when it was 20, I was like, okay, I don't know. Right, these are probably the people I know. Those 20 yeah. people are. I, like, I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know 217,000 people? I'd say if anybody does, it would have to be Pi. Okay. Would you say it's an all ages website? Oh, um, I never show nipple. Okay. Uh, I try not to either. No yeah, it's a very good rule to have in life in uh, general. I think it's a line. You know, once you yeah. cross that nipple line. What about butthole? I show a lot of cat butthole. Mm. If you want to put your feet up. Right there? Yeah, that'd be perfect. You're looking wonderful. Are you feeling good? I'm, I'm feeling Are you good. enjoying I'm, yourself? I'm actually, I feel like I feel at home now. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. No? I'm good. I don't know if we've got any pillows around here. There you go. All right. Here we go. Prop your feet up. Kick back. Do you have a real job, or is that your job? I do have a real job. Um, I, I can't talk about it on camera. Got you. I understand. Uh, but it involves um, a magazine. I work for a magazine about pizza. Ooh, a pizza I magazine. I can't get into too many details about what It sounds what like something I would is, read, it's though. a magazine about pizza. Are there a lot of, of, uh, of the two subscribers? Pizza magazines that exist in the world. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, though. <laughs> we'll just have what are the initials? It's it's uh it's, it's it's it starts with a P. I mean, I, can, I guess you can imagine that starts that means pizza. Yeah, I would think or potatoes. But we need a potato magazine. Potato magazine. I don't know why we haven't thought of this I mean, before. So many goddamn style uh -huh. potatoes you could go with on that. A month. Just for russets? I'd be into that. <laughs> That's a cover. <laughs> Do you make any money doing the website? Or is I it make, just a labor I made, of love? Um, 
thirty-five dollars last month. Ooh. Uh, that was my first first month of selling ads. That's um. It's a Christmas possum. It's a Christmas possum. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Christmas possum? It flies. Never seen it before. It's hard to call them. It is puppy looking on. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thirty-five dollars. Do you think you could buy yourself a Christmas possum with thirty-five dollars? I wish it would come back. <laughs> oh dear God! What is that? It's the Christmas possum. Oh, that's how beautiful. I say so. That's how he is. It's awesome. I tried to catch him. He's very elusive, though. If you think the Christmas possum is awesome, then you're about to love this clip right here. Were you at that show the other night? Man, T Martel, mm -hmm. the T Martel show where he just destroyed the foosball table. <laughs> it was pretty good. And then Jeff Walker That's stole his money. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Did you hit something? I think like so. I didn't say anything. Me neither. Hold on. I don't know what a Christmas possum is. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Christmas possum. The ghost of Christmas puzzle past. What's up, young blood? I'm here to tell you the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas isn't about money and presents. It isn't but a bit about family. Christmas serves as a reminder to thoroughly dispose of your trash so as to not incriminate yourself and thus negate potential presents you could receive. Christmas is always a great time except for when you get ran over by an asshole. Now I know the true meaning of Christmas. Thanks, Ghost of Christmas Possum Pass. Justin Bieber just released the Christmas album under the mistletoe. Question on everybody's mind is, uh, who gives a f? <laughs> Axl Rose just got done playing a show in Nashville not so long ago. Promoted his new album, Chinese Democracy, with Guns N' Roses. Looks like Axel had a little bit too much Chinese takeout, huh? 
Huh? Huh? Just look at him. Really? Sit up something. Rolling Stone just announced Sleeper Agent number 14 on their top 50 best singles of 2011 with Get It Daddy at number 14. 14. Let's step it up, guys. Really. It's not even top 10. <laughs> Celebrating 10 years at Ted Balls this month. December 21st, we got morning teleportation. Teleporting your ass into a morning of hangovers and lost innocence. December 22nd, we have the Lost River Caveman and the Hungry Ears. Sure to not leave your ears hungry for much else. December 24th, we have Pat Haney. December 27th, we'll have Space Capone. Probably take his shirt off. Hard. And on the 28th, we have Fat Box with Wayne Whitehouse. I'm assuming he's white. Back to you, Kitty, you old puss wizard. Thanks, Jason. It's a lot nicer box than the last one you were in. That just about wraps it up for us here, guys. But uh, we'd like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas from all of us here at Yellowberry. We've got a special little treat for you, our gift to you. Enjoy. Miracle 34th Little girl just wants a horse the horse is very, very expensive. No little girl wants it more, but her family is poor. And they can't fit a horse in their apartment. Across the nation. 